Kuzma. If I did go the turntable route, I think that would be one I'd consider. Avant-garde, so let's Hello. Hi. Wow. Oh. This will be the first year, you know, for this stuff. I think it will catch on. Did you ever go to the bottlehead uh, thing years ago over on the peninsula? And he had the two audio show? That, was that in Olympia? Uh, yeah, it was over in, um, oh gosh. I remember hearing about it. It was like early oh. 2000s. Unbelievable show. It was, it was, they, um. Was that in the hotel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the famous Japanese guy that came over. He brought all his big speakers and amps. He used a big. Oh yeah, I heard amp. about a setup that had like twenty-five amplifiers oh, in it or fifty amplifiers. Man, it was unbelievable. It was. That sounds really cool. What did he have? Like some array speakers, and then he had each one. Um, with an amp on each. No, I, where, are you, where are you from? Houston. Yeah. What, um, what organization do you represent? Oh, I have a YouTube channel. Okay, yeah, I saw. Yeah. I saw the yellow, yellow name tag means your press. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, sure. I've featured. Um, oh, you file junkie. Yeah, yeah. so I, co I cover a lot of the shows, like Expona, Florida. I just came back from Long Beach. Uh, oh, cool. And I basically just upload as I come in and out like almost quasi streaming it's fun so it, nice. instead of the delayed coverage of the other mm -hmm. periodicals so that's great so Where's is it audio, audio file junkie dot com or it's a, a YouTube channel called audio file junkie I'll give you my card oh, great. That'd be yeah. great so yeah it's even got a QR code oh sure. okay yeah it features everything from budget stuff to I just came back from a million dollar speaker system which yeah. were horns, acapella horns. I don't. I know the acapella. Yeah, the spherons. Yeah. Yeah. So there's one guy that has them in the world, and he's in um, Southern California. So I was, went to his house. I went to. Um, and those are plasma tweeters. Yep. And all? Exactly. Yeah. Oh. They had them. They had them a few years ago in a, in a room in Exponent, and they were yes. unreal. Yes, they, the, the yeah, scale they, they is just unbelievable. They were using audio electronics to drive them. Audio note. Yeah. Okay. He's using this now. I think it's out yet, but it's. Uh, burning yeah. ZOTL. Yeah, this was pretty impressive. Yeah, so I, I was wondering, sitting in, I went to that room and, and I was thinking, is it safe to be in here? <laughs> With the ozone yeah, and yeah. <laughs> Years ago when I retailed, right, we had a store in San Diego called Audio Directions. Uh -huh. And we had one of the 60 pairs of Hill Plasmatronics. Oh, the high, yeah. Yeah, which burnt hydrogen. Oh, yeah, I remember, yeah. that was way back. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 70s. Dr. Alan Hill worked at the uh, laboratory in Albuquerque. Okay, yeah. He was a constant in the store. Him and Nelson Pass. Interesting. They're all from the aerospace industry. Wow, yeah. That's a There wasn't any. He threshold 8,000, 4,000, and 800, 400. That's South Wow. Yeah, that's even before my time, but I heard about, yeah. Yeah. And Mike Moffat. Oh, yeah, Mike, yeah. Yeah. Like, Is that they hit back to them too? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was quite a story. I just got out of the Navy. It was a missile tech in the Navy. Okay. Okay. So I know Steve McCormick, who was back in that time. He was yeah, at M&K. Yeah. And he's coming to the show tomorrow. And he's going to be doing a seminar in that Genesis room wow. with the big, yeah, with Gary Coe. Uh, like so, to yeah, you might want to check that out. He's a great guy, obviously. Probably share some stories. Some in my junk yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we started that whole thing. Yeah. I know. Modding and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I use his amps right now. Which one do you want? Uh, the, well, he does SMC audio. Is what it is. So he mods those old chassis and puts basically guts them and makes new stuff. So that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. Well, he used to live in San Diego County. Uh huh. New York County. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's where we went for the yeah the Sparons, the guys in, in that area. Rick Brown and all that, yeah. 
Okay. Okay, so you're right. So your name is? Randy. Randy? Okay, Jason Messina. Randy Ford. Yeah, I'm on a text group with Steve, so I'll text him that we met. What model of... Uh... Okay. The Zero. They're active all the way, or are they... Okay. 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 And it's the right model to bring for this room. I mean, this is yeah. perfect for this room, yeah. So yeah, kudos on that. We had the penthouse suite. We had that. Yeah, I went to that room, but then, yeah, it was too big of a speaker system for that room, but still impressive, it's but yeah. Side room? Uh, yeah, the side room is yeah, better. Yeah. Okay. 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 Speakers? Yeah. Wow. This is what the bass horns in the house. Okay, hold on. This gets better. There. And these are there's the uh, the three drivers together. The yeah. Same speaker. Here, watch this. That's Angie. <laughs> Five feet tall. <laughs> lifting her lifting wow. piano weight. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. Sixty-five-year-old woman. Sixty-five-year-old yeah. woman. Yeah. Five feet tall. Nice. I don't even think I did anything there. <laughs> 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 she used her boot. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to show you. Yeah. So, um, was there what a room pretty big that they put it in? Or? Yeah. Well, she's got a seven thousand square foot house. Oh, okay. What is that thing over there in the corner? Those are two traps. No, no, no. This metal. What is that? I don't know. Uh, I asked. I asked. The I asked Darren the same the thing. On the, air yeah, on the one on the air condition. That's a well, negative ion generator. Okay. It's not on right now, but I I brought it in in case we're getting static on the turntable. Oh, okay. I got that on Amazon for a couple hundred bucks, and it it's Oops. amazing in the winter when you get static in your sheets and everything. Uh huh. Just like going nuts. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, what are these things on the two traps? I forgot the two traps, but I don't have these. Oh, well, those, um, yeah, those should be on all of them. Those are uh, designed to show you which way to orient. So oh, okay. Yeah, I had the things on the on the top, but yeah, I don't. Okay, yeah, I have old ones, yeah. I'd be more neurotic than I am, but I just placed it. That was a treatment to me that affected him. Yeah, I know. It's just uh, those are so good. It sounds like the, it sounds like the music is just being poured out of a picture. Well, Steve is going to bring some of his directed discs. He was on Flam He participated in Flamenco Fever and Ford Duke. Yeah. And so that'll be that Sunday presentation. So if you want to, where is it? At the Genesis Room, that big, uh, massive Infinity IRS Beta Genesis redid that over the years. 
So sh I think it's it Cascade 3. Time is I got a friend of mine. He's a client of mine. No, the other side. Anyhow, he was the marketing manager. Easy to read. For Infinity that made Infinity. Okay. Okay. He's got one of the few pairs. The original. Yeah. So you want to check this out because Gary Coe bought it, made it under the Genesis name now, and has been evolving it. It looks the same, but yeah. My, uh, my roots uh, go back to the 70s, obviously. Yeah. And uh, my first real job in high end audio. I work for Dave Ryan Associates, going back to Static Speaker. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's seven of us, yeah. Okay. Amazing Did you ever have the sound labs or anything? Your voice is amazing. No, I've never. I I like sound labs. Yeah. I had a double pair, a stacked pair of Dayton Wright XG8 Mark Threes in my living room. Oh, the stacked one. I've yeah. seen that. I've never heard that, but I heard that was really great. Yeah, and uh, yeah. it handled a kilowatt of channels. <laughs> <laughs> what did you use to drive? Uh, Mark Levinson back then? We had the uh, Bridge Moran's 500s. Oh, okay. We used to so you could bridge it and it would still be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I always wondered what happened to Sound Labs and why they aren't at the shows anymore. Those were, those should still be. I guess uh, Mr. West is getting up there in age. Yeah. 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 Everybody is. Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> Okay. All right, well, great meeting you. Hopefully, uh, I'll Tomorrow tell Stevie. It's going to be Sunday he does the presentation in the Genesis. I think it's the afternoon. Yeah, he didn't give me the exact time. But, yeah. Do it me a favor. If you can, I'll be here. Just yeah, well, I'll tell him to come by, too. Yeah, he'll be here tomorrow. Okay, thanks. All right, great meeting you. Be good to see you. Okay. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys.